This media literacy for social change is about media role. Today's topic is media framing. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the role of framing in communication. Consider these three news heading about a chaos that occurred in Nothing to Hide 2.0 forum. Most information we receive in the media is already framed. What you read and or see is not the entire event, but rather a version of the event. Framing is one of the most common ways in which bias manifests itself in the news, in addition to bias through word choice, omissions, and selection and use of sources. So what is media framing? Media framing involves social construction of a social phenomenon. A frame is a device that offers a perspective and manipulates salience in order to influence subsequent judgment. Framing is a quality of communication that leads others to accept one meaning over another. The concept of framing is related to the agenda setting but expands it by focusing on the essence of the issues at hand rather than on a particular topic. But in framing, the media focuses attention on certain events, and then places them within a field of meaning. Why is framing and communication important? The way information is presented, can influence and alter decision making and judgment about that information. Through the use of images, words, and by presenting a general context around the information, the media can influence how people think about that information. A frame encourages certain interpretations and to discourage others. Framing in news and media can be positive or negative, depending on the audience and what kind of information is being presented. Most of the framing that we see in the media is emphasis frames, which is simplify reality by focusing on a subset of relevant aspects of a situation or issue. Conflict frame, consensus frame, reaction frame, wrongdoing exposure frame, and straight news account frame are the common types of news frames. In the conflict frame, in the consensus frame, in the reaction frame, in the wrongdoing exposed frame, in the straight news account frame, So, when reading a news or reports, it is important to keep in mind the choice of words used, what gets covered and what get neglected, and where does the news get its news? Key questions to consider in a news framing analysis are, 1. What is the fundamental piece of information being presented? 2. What is the frame used in this story? Why do you think the frame was chosen? 4. Does the article omit important information? 5. Did the information for the story come from a single source, or from multiple and affiliated sources? Is there any similarity in the sources cited? As a conclusion, what you read Dan or see is not the entire event, but rather a version of the event that often contains various forms of bias. Therefore, be mindful what we get from the media. Critically examine biasness in the media texts.